Mitchie Ragney from Feather and Bone. I am cozied up, sitting with my little piglet mug of tea, because I can't drink coffee, it puts me to sleep. Uh, so you don't want that in the morning. And it's horrible snowy weather outside here in New York, as you can see. But let's start off by saying Happy New Year, everyone. I know on Instagram Live I wished you, but let's just make it properly official. I cannot believe 2018 is over. It was just such a whirlwind of a year. I got married and we launched our new Feather and Bone website and I was working on new products and just a lot of different things happen and a lot of things happen to me personally um, besides getting married. I also, you know, really started to look at this deeper meaning of personal care. I know in the beauty space and the personal care space, we talk so much about personal care and I really realized, um, especially having done Feather and Bone, that personal care goes beyond these products. I know I've talked about it, but I feel like I haven't really explained why I feel that way. Uh, some of my own personal experiences have really helped me realize how stress and fitness and eating well and how all of these things have such an impact on your body and your skin. And I think one of the things that is probably the, the crux, the main thing, is the stress level, this emotional care. And I think so much of it is about authenticity. As a brand, we definitely deal with that. As individuals, we definitely deal with that. It's a topic that's talked about so much. I think increasingly, especially because of social media, we're constantly trying to figure out who we are and where we fit into and and just how it plays into our life and especially as a brand I'm just I'm gonna put my tea on the side so I don't you know drop it on myself uh, but yeah so much about your you know authenticity and who you are as a person and how that gets defined is has an impact on our personal care because it does cause this emotional upheaval in our life and so I really went on this journey last year of trying to understand what authenticity is really about and what that means for me as a person and how that will translate as a brand. And what I discovered is it's, it's, it's simple, but it's not simple when it comes to really living it, right? And like theory, it's really easy. And so I just want to share with you over the next few weeks on how I've achieved my own personal authenticity and brought it to feather and bone that way of thinking so you know this week i'm just really first going to talk about what authenticity means and and you know the next few weeks i'll talk about how it affects different aspects of our life from relationships to beauty to self-love so you know definitely subscribe to our channel if you haven't done yet we've just started so be maybe be up first as a subscriber yay and uh, definitely follow us on instagram so you know when these videos will be going live in case you haven't subscribed but yes the big word authenticity what does it mean i know and when you look up the definition in the dictionary it says being honest being true to yourself being genuine but what, is, what does that mean? Like, where does that stem from? Because one of the things that's something interesting about me that you might not know is I am a lot of different types of people, and but that doesn't make me inauthentic. So the way that I am with my husband versus the way that I am with my friends, the way that I am uh, with my parents or my siblings, um, sometimes I'm even you know, playing a different character or a different person when I'm running my company. And so the question becomes, are you being inauthentic? And the answer is no, because to me, and what I think authenticity is really about is your core value system, your true north, your sort of inner moral compass that determines what, you know, how you should approach your things. And I think that's what makes someone authentic. And that value system is something that's developed over many years and it's something that keeps growing with you. And what I found that core value system that helps you determine three main things. One, how do you trust yourself? How are you honest with yourself? And how vulnerable do you let yourself be? And then the combination of that helps you become an authentic person. I think that's so important being able to trust yourself because then you know 
that the decisions, the choices, the people that you let into your lives are going to, you know, put you in the right place or set you in the right place? Or how do you let yourself be honest and vulnerable to open up to new experiences? And that's really what makes you an authentic person. I, uh, but the complications arise when you don't trust yourself. And that can happen for a lot of different reasons. And it can manifest, for example, in a relationship. My, my own self-worth and lack of trusting myself has allowed me to trust or allow people to lead me down a wrong path. And in a few weeks, I'll talk about a really horrible relationship that I was in because I didn't trust myself. I wasn't allowing myself, my value system, to keep me in check, to keep me authentic. So maybe this week you can think about what your value system means. It, it doesn't have to be something complicated. For me, my value system is really just about honesty. That's what determines and drives my true north and whether I can trust someone and trust myself. It all comes down to honesty and it's very black and white for me. You know, for me, there is a right way and a wrong way. And that's, that's my value system. So I hope this is helpful. And I hope, you know, you can spend like the next week thinking about your own value system and how that helps you to trust yourself, be honest with yourself and let yourself be vulnerable. And next week, we're going to actually look at how relationships can make you feel less and inauthentic and make you lose yourself. Until then, love ya, bye.